take a look at what's happening in Northwest Arkansas. Of course, like we always do, here's something that's happening this week. It has to do with all things creepy crawly, which you think I would be over by my experience yesterday, yesterday with the snake. Yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> You're invited uh, to buzz over to the 2022 Insect Festival. This free one-day festival runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Thursday in the Pauline Whitaker Animal Science Center Arena in Fayetteville. You can explore the world of bugs, cockroach. Yeah. Ooh, just saying the word. <sighs> cockroach races and more this event for all ages. Everybody is invited to attend the festival dates back to 1993 and seeks to educate and entertain the public about the beauty and value of insects. I love that. I know we often don't think of them and associate that word beauty, but there it is. Jane Austen's ultimate romantic comedy takes new and sparkling form in Aquila Theater Company's production of Pride and Prejudice. The trials and tribulations of the Bennett sisters delight audiences today just as they have for two centuries. You can watch the show this Thursday at Walton Art Center as part of their 10 by 10 series where tickets are only $10. The show will be on the main stage there, Baum Walker Hall, beginning at 7 p.m. Be invited to join comedy group Rodeo Book Club on Thursday night in Springdale for Black Apple Comedy Night. It's a spooky Rodeo Book Club takeover, and you can join in all the fun when the show kicks off at 7.30. Guests are encouraged to arrive early and get a seat and maybe even enjoy some hard cider. Yeah. Hey, our improv team, Fun Bags, we're going to be taking the stage at 612 Coffee House and Bar this weekend. You can get your $10 tickets right now in advance, and there will be a limited number of walk-up tickets sold at the door. Now, if you're not familiar with our Fun Bag team, we've had them on the show before. It's similar to that show, Whose Line Is It Anyway, if you remember that, featuring short-form comedy improv. It's always a night of hilarity, and this spooky show is on Saturday. Doors open at 6.30 for that 7 p.m. performance. Well, after a two-year break, True Lit is back. The event will take place November 1st through the 6th, and it has event for all ages, such as preschool story time and a teen masquerade party. That sounds like fun. Songwriting for kids, a bilingual performance, and more. The festival features uh, New York Times bestselling author of the young adult series Birds of Prey uh, trilogy, Ayana Gray. I'm on the second book now. Uh, you will need to register for some of the events, and you can check that out on our website. Yes, and here's a reminder that you can help local restaurant go down in history. The Arkansas Department of Parks, Heritage, and Tourism are currently taking nominations for the 2023 Arkansas Food Hall of Fame. The program celebrates Arkansas's culinary heritage with categories that recognize restaurants and food theme events that celebrate food heritage from every corner of our state. You can submit nominations now through October 31st, so that submission deadline is coming up. And you can find a link to nominate your favorite restaurants on our website. That's where you can also find details on all of these happening in NWA stories.